Hello, uh, it's a bit of grey paper and I'm colouring it in with grey and I'm putting some other greys on it and then I put some white on it as well. I know, it's going to be a dusty, dusty asteroid field. Obviously, you create the dust in the asteroid field by blowing up the rocks, but there's often pre-existing clouds of dust in there that add to the sort of the atmosphere of it. So this is this has got some, you can just make out a little bit of, uh, of the actual background environment on the bottom left there where there's no rocks but amongst the rocks it's quite kind of opaque and dusty so i'm doing rocks now I'm basically coloring in <laughs> coloring in rocks and uh, i'll put a bit of texture on afterwards just to give it a bit of interest but mostly this one's about about the exploding rock the uh, the depth charges the mother load rock that you get where uh, they've got fissures in them they've breaks in them little little holes in them and you can set little seismic charges in those holes if you aim them right and then you, you put your seismic charge in and that automatically sets the timer going on it and you've got about two minutes then before it blows if you if you're clever you, you can watch there's, there's readouts that you get in response to sending out these charges you send out a few of them place them in different spots on the rock to try and increase the the strength of the detonation so if you put enough of them at the right level and you, you, you judge it correctly. I mean, you, you've got feedback on how near to uh, being in a position to break the rock up you are, so you'll get that information. But, but the, the depth charges, they can blow up the rock and, uh, and, it, and it's a really lovely piece of animation that you get when you've blown a rock up and it, 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 it creates this wonderful boom and the flash and there's, a, there's an ellipse of a shock wave that goes out from the rock as well that you see. And, it's just it's just a fabulous effect and they've done a lovely job of it so it's really enjoyable you have to if you're going to do um what am i saying if you do this sort of deep core mining you'll get larger chunks of minerals off but you don't get as many of them so if you're sitting there you, you, you you're laser mining some painite you'll get tons and tons and tons of pieces of fragments of painite but of course your fragments of painite are perhaps at most like a quarter of a tonne's worth of painite in the rock you've blown off. Whereas uh, you, you get a, a tonne in each chunk from an exploded rock like this, one, one of the, uh, it's a load-bearing rock, you've got, but you've got to work a little bit to crack it. And the rocks are quite difficult to find. I mean, you've got to know what you're looking for. There's certain appearances. So this one looks like it's a popcorn-shaped rock that's blowing up here. But you get ones that are shaped a little bit like a teardrop as well. So uh, you use a, 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 a scanner that you attach to your ship called a pulse wave scanner. The pulse wave scanner sends out, um, it's, it sends back information from the rocks. Some of the rocks then appear to glow in your view screen. So you can tell by looking at the results from the pulse wave scanner whether or not certain rocks are likely to have a core. Uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> so I'm drawing a crate here. This is uh, fairly simple, but I wanted to try and give the effect of it being slightly obscured by the clouds in the asteroid ring but also visible as a ship I'm not sure whether I achieved it particularly but it, it was fun to do and uh, with the stars it gives you that kind of like sense of depth that actually there's stuff going on in the distance as well like Barnard's Loop for example anyway thanks for watching I really appreciate it it's all very good of you um <laughs> thanks bye <laughs>